Section 1 of 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick by Betty Crocker. Biscuits. How to make them perfect. Heat oven to 450 degrees. Hot. Add two-thirds cup milk all at once to two cups of bisquick. Stir with fork into a soft dough. Beat dough vigorously 20 strokes until stiff and slightly sticky. Roll dough around on cloth-covered board lightly dusted with bisquick to prevent sticking. Knead gently 8 to 10 times to smooth up dough. Roll a half inch thick. Biscuits double in size in baking. Dip cutter in bisquick. Cut close together to save re-rolling. Bake on ungreased shiny baking sheet 10 to 15 minutes. Close together for soft sides. One inch apart for crusty sides. Makes 12 2 inch biscuits. For drop biscuits, drop dough with spoon on greased baking sheet. Bake as above. For richer biscuits, follow directions above, except mix a quarter cup soft butter or shortening or three tablespoons of cooking oil, salad oil, into bisquick before mixing in milk. For buttermilk biscuits, use three quarter cup buttermilk for liquid. It may be necessary to use a few additional tablespoons of buttermilk to make a dough of soft consistency. Dress up your biscuits 10 ways. For bacon, add to recipe a third cup crisply cooked diced bacon and serve with grapefruit scrambled eggs. For cheese, add to recipe a half a cup grated sharp cheese Serve with veal steak and vegetables. For chives, add to recipe a quarter cup finely chopped chives. Serve with wieners and baked beans. For curry, add to recipe a quarter teaspoon of curry powder. Serve with chicken casserole, fruit salad. For ham, add to recipe half a cup of chopped boiled or baked ham. Serve with cheese souffle green salad. For herb, add to recipe a quarter teaspoon nutmeg, half teaspoon crumbled dry sage, and one and one quarter teaspoon caraway seeds. Serve with beef or veal stew. For lemon, add to recipe one teaspoon grated lemon rind, add two tablespoons of lemon juice to a half a cup of milk, and use for milk in directions. Serve with crispy fried fish. For olive, add to recipe a quarter cup chopped stuffed olives. Serve with seafood or meat casserole. For peanut, add to recipe a third cup chopped peanuts. Serve with pot roast and vegetables. For salami, add to recipe a half a cup of chopped salami sausage. Serve with mixed vegetables and cheese salad. Pecan rolls. Mix a half a cup each melted butter, brown sugar, spoon into 12 large muffin cups with three pecan halves in each. Cover with biscuit dough. Bake 15 minutes. Quick and delicious for Sunday brunch. Butter sticks. Heat oven to 450 degrees hot. Make rolled biscuit dough recipe except add two tablespoons dry onion soup mix. Roll dough into a rectangle, 10 inch by six inch. Cut in half lengthwise. Cut each half into 12 strips, about three by a half inch. Melt one third cup butter and add two tablespoons dry onion soup mix. Pour half of it into oblong pan, 13, by nine and a half by two inches, 
Place strips in pan. Pour remaining butter over tops. Bake 10 to 15 minutes. Quantity biscuits. For 60 medium, serves 30. 10 cups Bisquick, 40 ounce package, or two 20 ounce packages. 3 and a third cup milk. For 100 medium, serves 50. 15 cups Bisquick, a 60 ounce package. 5 cups milk. Follow biscuit directions. End of section 1. Read by Ellen Corcoran. Section 2 of 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick by Betty Crocker. Main Dishes With Biscuit Topping Meat and Vegetable Pie One pound stewing beef, cubed One half cup Bisquick One half teaspoon salt One eighth teaspoon pepper One eighth teaspoon paprika, if desired One medium tomato, chopped Or one half cup canned tomatoes One to two small onions, chopped Two large carrots, sliced One small clove garlic, cut up One quarter teaspoon Worcestershire sauce Salt and pepper Roll meat in mixture of bisquick, salt, pepper, and paprika. Brown meat thoroughly on all sides in a little hot fat. Add tomatoes, onions, carrots, and garlic. Saute until onions are transparent. Add enough water to cover meat and vegetables. Cover tightly and cook over low heat until meat is tender. One and one half to two hours. Add Worcestershire sauce, salt, and pepper. Heat oven to 425 degrees hot. Pour stew in a one and a half quart baking dish and cover with one half recipe for biscuits. Bake about 12 minutes until biscuits are golden brown. Two to three servings. Chicken pot pie. One quarter cup chicken fat or butter. One quarter cup bisquick. One and one half teaspoon salt. One quarter teaspoon pepper. Two cups chicken stock saved from stewing chicken. Two thirds cup cream three to four cups chicken cut in large pieces. Heat oven to 450 degrees hot. Heat chicken fat. Blend in bisquick salt, pepper. Remove from heat. Stir in chicken stock, cream, chicken. Cook over low heat until thickened, about five minutes. Pour hot filling into baking dish, 11 and a half by seven and a half by one and a half. Cover with richer biscuit dough. Rolled out to fit top of baking dish. Cut two or three slits in center. Bake about 15 minutes, four to six servings. Note, if desired, use chicken fat for shortening in biscuit recipe. Deep dish salmon cheese pie. One tablespoon chopped onion, two tablespoons butter or other fat, one quarter cup bisquick, one and one half cups milk, one cup grated sharp cheddar cheese, one pound canned salmon, drained and broken into large pieces, one teaspoon salt, few grains pepper. Heat oven to 450 degrees, hot. Saute onion in butter. Remove from heat. Blend in bisquick. Slowly stir in milk. Bring to boil over low heat, stirring constantly. Boil one minute. Stir in rest of ingredients. Turn hot mixture into greased one and one half quart baking dish and heat in oven until mixture bubbles. Make one half biscuit dough. Pat or roll out to fit top of baking dish. Place on hot mixture. Cut two or three slits in center. Bake about 15 minutes or until topping is brown. Four to six servings. Tuna pinwheel roll. Two seven ounce cans tuna with two tablespoons oil. One half cup chopped onion. One half cup grated sharp cheese. One quarter cup chopped parsley. One teaspoon celery salt. One half teaspoon salt, one quarter teaspoon pepper, one egg slightly beaten. Heat oven to 375 degrees, quick, moderate. Mix all ingredients except set aside two tablespoons of egg. Make biscuit dough, 
roll into a rectangle fifteen by ten inches spread with tuna filling roll like jelly roll starting with wide side place on well greased baking sheet in ring shape with seam side down pinch ends together slice twelve even slices almost to the center edge leaving about one inch turn each piece on its side to show filling brush all over with remaining egg bake twenty five to thirty minutes serve with blue cheese sauce one half cup blue cheese crumbled in two cups medium white sauce four to six servings meat turnovers heat oven to four hundred fifty degrees hot make richer biscuit dough roll into rectangle eighteen by ten inches cut in eight pieces five by four and one half inches place slice of cooked or canned meat on half of square spread with one tablespoon chili sauce or pickle relish fold dough over meat and seal edges with fork slit top bake about fifteen minutes on greased baking sheet four to eight servings baked meat sandwich one pound ground lean pork one half cup chopped onion one quarter cup grated parmesan cheese one half cup grated swiss cheese one large egg beaten one quarter teaspoon tabasco sauce one and one half teaspoon salt two tablespoons minced parsley heat oven to four hundred degrees moderate hot cook pork and onion over low heat until no longer pink do not brown stir with fork to break up as it cooks mix in rest of ingredients add one quarter cup mayonnaise to biscuit dough mix well with fork spread half of dough in well greased square pan eight by eight by two inches spread meat mixture over dough spread rest of dough over mixture the top will even out during baking brush with beaten egg yolk to give crusty glaze bake twenty five to thirty minutes cut in slices about one half inch thick and serve hot or cold saucy pigs in blankets heat oven to four hundred fifty degrees hot make rolled biscuit dough roll into circle one eighth inch thick cut circle into eight equal wedges spread each wedge with one tablespoon well-drained sauerkraut roll a frankfurter in each wedge starting at wide end and seal well by pinching tip into roll sprinkle rolls with poppy seeds place on baking sheet bake about fifteen minutes serve immediately with hot tomato sauce and additional sauerkraut on the side makes eight main dish shortcakes use richer biscuit dough plain individual shortcakes roll dough about three-quarter inch thick and cut with three inch round cutter bake split and serve with desired filling plain large shortcake pat out one half of dough in round or square eight inch pan dot with butter pat out rest of dough and place on top bake split and serve with desired filling large shortcake in ring spread dough in well greased eight or nine inch ring mold bake turn out on large platter fill center with desired filling creamed meat or seafood add to medium white sauce cut up cooked chicken turkey veal pork ham tuna salmon shrimp crab meat or lobster meat or seafood a la king to creamed meat or seafood add sauteed mushrooms sliced hard cooked eggs chopped pimentos etc curried meat or seafood add a little curry powder when making white sauce for creamed meat or seafood delicious with chicken lamb veal shrimp with it offer several relishes such as chopped salted peanuts ground fresh coconut chutney sweet pickled onions hard cooked egg put through a sieve chopped pickle and chopped crisp bacon oven crisp chicken and biscuits one cup bisquick two teaspoons salt one quarter teaspoon pepper two teaspoons paprika one half cup shortening half butter one cut up frying chicken heat oven to 425 degrees hot mix first four ingredients in paper bag place shortening in oblong pan 13 by nine and a half by two inches and set in oven to melt shake chicken in bag to coat thoroughly place chicken skin side down in single layer in hot shortening bake 45 minutes then turn meanwhile make rolled biscuit dough roll dough one quarter inch thick and cut into biscuits 
push chicken to one side in pan place biscuits in single layer on other side bake another 15 minutes or until biscuits are lightly brown and the chicken is tender place chicken and biscuits on serving platter for gravy add two tablespoons bisquick saved from dredgings to drippings in pan bring to boil add one and one half cups hot water boil one minute four servings asparagus shortcake with cheese sauce heat oven to 450 degrees hot make biscuit dough roll out one quarter inch thick cut into four or five inch rounds bake about 10 minutes split serve sandwich fashion with about five spears of freshly cooked asparagus between biscuit halves make cheese sauce by heating one and one half cups medium white sauce two cups grated sharp cheese one half pound one quarter teaspoon dry mustard and a few grains thyme over hot water until cheese melts pour over top garnish with sprig of parsley four to five servings end of section two section three of one hundred thirty three quicker ways to homemade with bisquick this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org read by betty b one hundred thirty three quicker ways to homemade with bisquick by betty crocker muffins coffee cake muffins or coffee cake two tablespoons sugar one egg three quarter cup milk two cups bisquick heat oven to four hundred degrees moderate hot blend ingredients together then beat vigorously thirty seconds muffins fill well greased muffin pans two-thirds full bake fifteen minutes makes twelve coffee cake spread into greased nine inch round layer pan or eight or nine inch square pan sprinkle with mixture of two teaspoons cinnamon one quarter cup sugar two tablespoons bisquick two tablespoons soft butter blend with fork until crumbly bake twenty to twenty five minutes dress up your muffins four ways bacon fold one fourth cup crisp diced cooked bacon into batter serve with cottage cheese and fruit salad cheese add one half to one cup grated sharp yellow cheese serve with any meat casserole chive fold one quarter cup chopped chives into batter serve with salmon loaf orange use one half cup orange juice for one half cup of the milk sprinkle top of batter with sugar serve with ham and eggs chili supper and corn muffins one pound ground beef one half cup chopped onion two tablespoons fat or drippings one and one half teaspoon salt one half teaspoon pepper one half teaspoon chili powder more if desired two cups cooked tomatoes number two can two cups cooked kidney beans number two can drained brown beef and onion in fat in heavy skillet season with salt pepper and chili powder stir in tomatoes and kidney beans cover and simmer gently about one hour stirring occasionally serve hot over corn muffins six servings corn muffins heat oven to 450 degrees hot mix one and one quarter cups bisquick three quarter cup cornmeal one half teaspoon salt two tablespoons sugar one egg and three quarter cup milk and beat well with rotary beater fill greased medium muffin cups two-thirds full bake fifteen to twenty minutes makes twelve special coffee cakes apple chip brunch cake heat oven to four hundred degrees moderate hot add two tablespoons sugar two tablespoons melted shortening to coffee cake fold in one cup finely chopped pared apples spread in greased nine inch round layer pan or nine inch square pan sprinkle with topping made by blending until crumbly two teaspoons cinnamon one quarter cup sugar two tablespoons bisquick and two tablespoons soft butter bake twenty to twenty five minutes prune apricot or pineapple coffee cake heat oven to four hundred degrees moderate hot make coffee cake spread into greased eight inch round layer pan or nine inch square pan spread with two tablespoons butter melted sprinkle with one fourth cup white or brown sugar three quarter teaspoon cinnamon for prune topping 
arrange over top one cup chopped drained cooked prunes or apricots or one cup drained crushed pineapple bake 20 to 25 minutes end of section three Section 4 of 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick by Betty Crocker. Dumplings. Add three-fourths cup milk to two cups Bisquick. Mix thoroughly with fork. Drop by spoonfuls onto chicken, meat, or vegetables in boiling stew, not into liquid. Cook over low heat for ten minutes with kettle uncovered and ten minutes with kettle covered. Liquid should just bubble gently. Remove dumplings. Makes ten to twelve. Dress up your dumplings five ways. For corn, Add to recipe three-fourths cup whole kernel corn, one tablespoon chopped onion. Serve with beef stew. For walnut cherry, add to recipe one-half cup coarsely chopped walnuts, one-half cup finely chopped celery. Serve with chicken fricassee. For raisin, add to recipe one-half cup raisins. Serve with chicken fricassee. For mint, Add to recipe one half teaspoon dried mint. Serve with lamb stew. For pimento green pepper, add to recipe two tablespoons each chopped pimento and green pepper. Serve with veal stew. Chicken fricassee with bisquick dumplings. One chicken, four to five pounds, cut up. One fourth cup fat. Two sprigs parsley. Four celery tops one carrot sliced, one slice of onion, two teaspoons salt, one-eighth teaspoon pepper. Brown chicken slowly in fat. Place in kettle with just enough boiling water to cover. Add rest of ingredients. Boil five minutes. Turn down heat and simmer until tender, two to three hours. Prepare and cook dumplings. Recipe, page 10. Except add one-fourth cup chopped parsley. Remove dumplings and chicken and place on platter. Keep hot while making gravy. Recipe below. Eight servings. Gravy. Leave chicken broth, about four cups, in kettle over low heat. Skim off excess fat. Mix one half cup bisquick and one cup milk or cold water to a smooth paste. Stir into broth. Cook until thickened, about fifteen minutes, stirring occasionally. Season to taste. Sauerkraut with franks and dumplings. Add two cups water to two number 303 canned sauerkraut in saucepan. Simmer 30 minutes. Bury eight frankfurters or one pound in sauerkraut. Prepare and cook one half dumplings. Recipe page 10. Add one half teaspoon caraway seeds if desired. Serve hot. Four servings. Pork and dumplings. Brown six pork chops in deep skillet or heavy kettle. Season. Add one medium onion, thinly sliced, and one fourth cup water. Cover skillet. Simmer until meat is tender, forty to fifty minutes. Add one half to three cups water. Prepare and cook dumplings. Recipe page ten. Remove meat and dumplings to hot platter while making gravy. Six servings. Dessert dumplings. Mix in saucepan three tablespoons bisquick, three tablespoons sugar, and one fourth teaspoon salt. Gradually stir in one and a half cups juice from canned fruit. Bring to boil. Boil gently two minutes, stirring constantly. Stir in one cup canned or fresh fruit, two to three teaspoons lemon juice, one half teaspoon grated lemon or orange rind and one sixteenth teaspoon nutmeg or cinnamon. Prepare and cook dumplings. Recipe, page 10. Serve immediately. Six servings. End of section 4.
Section 5 of 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick by Betty Crocker. Nut Breads Nut Bread one half cup sugar, one egg, one and one quarter cups milk, three cups bisquick, one and one half cups chopped diamond walnuts. Heat oven to 350 degrees, moderate. Mix sugar, egg, milk, and bisquick. Then beat vigorously for 30 seconds. Batter may still be slightly lumpy. Stir in diamond walnuts. Pour into well greased loaf pan, nine by five by three. Bake 45 to 50 minutes until toothpick stuck into center comes out clean. Crack in top is typical. Cool before slicing. Banana nut bread. Follow nut bread recipe, except use three quarter cup sugar and only one half cup milk. Use only three quarter cup chopped nuts and add one cup mashed bananas, two to three bananas. Orange nut bread. Follow nut bread recipe, except use three quarter cup sugar and instead of milk use orange juice plus one tablespoon grated orange rind. Use only three-quarter cup chopped nuts. Bake 50 to 55 minutes. Fruit nut bread. Follow nut bread recipe, except use three-quarter cup sugar, and instead of milk, use orange juice. Use only three-quarter cup chopped nuts, and add one cup chopped dried apricots or other dried fruit. Bake 55 to 60 minutes. Orange honey nut bread. Follow nut bread recipe, except use only one-quarter cup sugar, and add one half cup honey. Instead of one and one quarter cups milk, use only three quarter cup orange juice plus one tablespoon grated orange rind. Use only three quarter cup chopped nuts. Little gift breads. Bake them in cans. Follow nut bread recipe or any of the variations. Divide batter between three well greased number two cans or five well greased soup cans. Filling cans slightly more than half full. Bake uncovered number two cans 45 to 50 minutes, soup cans about 40 minutes in moderate oven, 350 degrees, until toothpick stuck into center comes out clean. Serving, storing, freezing ideas. Cool thoroughly before slicing. Use thin, sharp knife to prevent crumbling. Nut bread slices spread with cream cheese are delicious for teas as well as lunch boxes. Nut breads with the orange juice base are an excellent bread for mailing as a gift. Individual round nut breads make attractive gifts for Christmas and other holidays. Nut breads will keep a week in the refrigerator if wrapped tightly in aluminum foil and will keep well wrapped in foil in the freezer. End of section 5《Section 6 of 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick》This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick》by Betty Crocker Pancakes and Waffles Pancakes Add 1 and 2 third cups milk and one egg to two cups bisquick. Beat with rotary beater until smooth. Grease griddle if necessary. Turn pancakes when bubbles appear. Between bakings, stir to thin out batter. Mix about 18 pancakes. For thinner pancakes, use two cups milk. Waffles. Follow pancake recipe, except add two tablespoons cooking or salad oil or melted shortening. Waffles are baked when they stop steaming. Makes two large or six small. Note, griddle or waffle iron is right temperature for baking when a few drops of water sprinkle on it jump around. Dress up your pancakes or waffles eight ways. For banana, add to recipe one cup mashed ripe bananas, two medium, one tablespoon lemon juice, and two tablespoons of sugar. Serve with honey, currant jelly, 
or confectioner's sugar. For blueberry, add to recipe two tablespoons sugar. Then fold in one cup fresh or drained canned blueberries. Serve with honey or confectioner's sugar. For corn, add to recipe one cup cream style or drained whole kernel corn with a half a teaspoon of paprika. Serve with syrup, cream dried beef or ham, or white sauce and bacon. For cheese, add to recipe a half to one and one half cups grated sharp cheese. Serve with syrup, creamed meats, or vegetables. For ham, add to recipe one to one and a half cups chopped cooked ham. Serve with syrup, cranberry sauce, cheese sauce, creamed vegetables. For nut, add to recipe three quarters to one cup finely chopped pecans, peanuts, or walnuts, toasted if desired. Serve with syrup, ice cream, and caramel sauce. For onion, add to recipe one to one and a half cups finely chopped onions, sauteed until golden brown in two or three tablespoons of fat. Serve with browned ground beef and gravy. For spicy, add to recipe one teaspoon cinnamon, a half a teaspoon allspice, half a teaspoon cloves, and a half teaspoon nutmeg. Serve with syrup or sweetened applesauce. Chiffon waffles. Follow recipe for puff pancakes below, but use a waffle baker. Chocolate waffles. Make waffles, except add a half a cup sugar and two square unsweetened chocolate, two ounces, melted to batter. Rich pancakes. Make pancakes, except use one and one quarter cup milk, two eggs, two tablespoons cooking or salad oil, or melted shortening. Puff pancakes. Beat two eggs with rotary beater until soft peaks form. Blend in one cup milk. Add two one-third cups bisquick and two tablespoons sugar. Mix just until thoroughly dampened. Fold in one quarter cup cooking, salad, oil, or melted shortening. Spoon onto medium-hot, ungreased griddle. When puffed up and bubbles begin to break, cook on other side. Serve with syrup or as dessert with warm fruit, such as strawberries and whipped cream. Makes 15 to 20 pancakes. Main dish pancakes and waffles. Tuna royal pancakes. Pancakes recipe, seven ounce canned tuna, drained and broken, a quarter cup of chopped onion, half a cup grated Parmesan or processed cheese, half a cup chopped celery, a quarter cup chopped pimento, about two teaspoons lemon juice, ten and a half ounce can cream of celery or chicken soup, two tablespoons bisquick, quarter teaspoon salt, an eighth of a teaspoon pepper, two cups of milk. Heat oven to 400 degrees, moderately hot. Make 10 thinner pancakes, five inch size. Keep warm between towels until ready to serve. Mix tuna, onion, a quarter cup of the cheese, celery, pimento, and lemon juice. Spoon two tablespoons of mixture on each pancake. Roll and place folded side down in 11 and a half by seven and a half by one and a half inch oblong baking dish. Heat an oven about 10 minutes. Mix soup, bisquick, salt, pepper, and milk. Heat until thickened. Pour over pancakes and sprinkle with the remaining quarter cup grated cheese. If desired, place under broiler until bubbly. Ten servings. Waffle Supper Royal. Serve waffles with creamed chicken or turkey and top with whole cranberry sauce. Wonderful Sunday Supper. Waffle Club Rabbit. Make waffles recipe using two cups milk, 
Bake until very crisp and brown. Serve waffles, whole or sections, with a slice or more of fresh tomato arranged on each serving. Spoon cheese sauce, recipe below, over, then top with strips of crisp bacon. Cheese sauce. Mix one and one half cups medium white sauce, two cups grated sharp cheddar cheese, a half a pound. If desired, add a quarter teaspoon dry mustard and few grains of thyme. Heat slowly until cheese melts and blends with sauce. Six servings. Chicken griddle cakes. Make eight large pancake recipe using about a half a cup batter for each. Spoon a quarter cup cream chicken, recipe below, onto half of each pancake. Fold over other half. Place on baking sheet. Sprinkle one tablespoon grated sharp cheese. Slip under broiler or an oven for a moment to melt cheese. Eight servings. Cream chicken. Melt two tablespoons butter. Remove from heat. Blend in a quarter cup bisquick and one teaspoon salt. Gradually stir in one and a half cups milk. Bring to boil over low heat, stirring constantly. Boil one minute. Stir in two cups finely diced cooked chicken. Season to taste with pepper and poultry seasoning. Heat until chicken is hot. Brunch and dessert pancakes. Sunday in Vermont pancakes. Grate an apple into batter for pancakes recipe. Make large pancakes five inches across. Stack five high with warm cranberry sauce between layers. Sprinkle confectioner's sugar on top. Cut in wedges. Serve immediately. Spiced cherry sauce for pancakes. Mix three quarter cup sugar, three tablespoons cornstarch, one quarter teaspoon cinnamon, and one eighth teaspoon salt in small saucepan. Add one cup chopped cherries, canned or fresh, one tablespoon lemon juice, and one cup water or juice from canned cherries. Bring to boil over direct heat, stirring constantly. Boil one minute. Serve hot. Makes about one and a half cups sauce. Colonial Jelly Stack. Make pancakes recipe. Use a half a cup batter for each pancake. Place one pancake on warm plate, and while popping hot, spread generously with soft butter and jelly. Top with second pancake. Spread and repeat until they are six high. Sprinkle top with confectioner's sugar. Cut stack into wedges. Serve hot. Six servings. Maple whip. Cream a half a cup soft butter. Add one cup maple flavored syrup gradually. Beat until smooth and spreading consistency. Serve on hot pancakes or waffles. This can be refrigerated for future use. Strawberry blintzes. Pancake recipe. One cup cottage cheese, small curd. Four ounce package cream cheese. One and a half tablespoon lemon rind. Three tablespoons lemon juice. Quarter cup sugar. Ten ounce package frozen strawberries, thawed. 1 tablespoon lemon juice, quarter teaspoon almond extract. Heat oven to 400 degrees, moderately hot. Combine cottage cheese, cream cheese, lemon rind, and 3 tablespoons lemon juice and sugar. Whip until creamy. Place a quarter cup filling on each pancake and roll up. Place rolled side down in 11 by 7 inch baking dish. Heat an oven for 10 minutes, just before serving. Heat the strawberries, the one tablespoon lemon juice and almond extract. Spoon over pancakes. Serve immediately. Six servings. Quantity pancakes. For 60 pancakes, serves 15. 10 cups Bisquick, a 40 ounce package or two 20 ounce packages. 
eight and one third cup milk, five eggs. For 100 pancakes, serves 25. 15 cups Bisquick, a 60 ounce package. Three quarts milk, seven eggs. Add milk and eggs to Bisquick. Beat with a rotary beater until smooth. Bake as directed as above. End of section six. Read by Ellen Corcoran. Section seven of 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Hope. 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick by Betty Crocker. Shortcake. Heat oven to 450 degrees. Add three-fourths cup cream or one-half cup milk plus one-fourth cup butter melted to two cups Bisquick. Add two tablespoons sugar if desired. Mix thoroughly with fork. Keep dough soft. If too sticky, add Bisquick. Knead ten times on floured surface. Pat or roll dough to half the thickness desired in baked shortcakes. Shortcakes double in volume during baking. Cut into individual shortcakes with floured cutter. Bake about ten minutes. Split. Butter if desired. Place fruit between layers and over top. Mix six three-inch shortcakes. For one large shortcake, pat out one half dough in a round layer pan. Eight by one and a half inch. Dot with butter. Pat out rest of dough and place over top. Bake 15 to 20 minutes. Double decker fruit shortcake. Heat oven to 400. Moderate hot. Make shortcake dough and roll into two 8 inch square pieces. Fit one piece into an 8 inch square pan, pressing dough about one half inch up sides of pan. Be careful to press together any tears in the dough. Spread two cups washed fresh raspberries or blueberries over dough. Sprinkle with one-fourth to one-half cup sugar. Cover with the other square of dough. Bake about 25 minutes until well browned. Cut into squares and serve warm or cold with sauce. Nine servings. Sauce. Mix one-half cup sugar and one tablespoon cornstarch in saucepan. Stir in one-fourth cup cold water. One-fourth cup butter and one cup washed fresh raspberries or blueberries, mashed. Bring to a boil and boil one minute. Fruit roll. Heat oven to 450 degrees. Hot. Measure three-fourths cup sugar and one-half cup water into a nine-inch square pan. Bring to a boil and boil one minute. Make shortcake dough. Roll one-fourth inch thick into an oblong, 15 by 7 inches. Spread with two cups fresh fruit or well-drained canned fruit. Sprinkle with one-fourth cup sugar. Roll up beginning at wide side. Seal well by pinching edge of dough into roll. Cut into nine slices about one and a half inches thick. Place slices cut side up in the pan of hot syrup. Bake about 25 minutes until golden brown. Serve warm with cream if desired. Nine servings. Winter shortcake. One cup canned crushed pineapple, nine ounce can. One cup finely chopped or shredded red skinned apple, one medium to large apple. One cup finely chopped fresh cranberries, one cup whole cranberries. One fourth cup sugar, one eighth teaspoon salt. Mix all ingredients. Let it stand at room temperature one half to one hour before serving. Make shortcake dough. Cut individual shortcakes. Split while piping hot and serve shortcake style with the fruit mixture. Six servings. Peach orange shortcake. Heat oven to 450 degrees. Hot. Make shortcake dough. Except add grated rind of one orange to Bisquick before adding liquid. Spread dough in greased 13 by 9.5 by 2 inch pan. Sprinkle with 2 tablespoons sugar if desired. Bake 10 to 12 minutes. Cut into 12 squares. For each serving, spoon sliced peaches between two squares and on top. Top with whipped cream. Six servings. Sour cream strawberry shortcake. Make shortcake dough. 
Cut individual shortcakes, split layers, spoon frozen strawberries and commercial sour cream between layers and over top. End of section 7. Section 8 of 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Hope. 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick by Betty Crocker. Velvet Crumb Cake. 1 and 1 third cups Bisquick. 3 fourths cups sugar. 3 tablespoons soft shortening, 1 egg, 3 fourths cup milk, 1 teaspoon vanilla. Heat oven to 350 degrees. Grease and flour a square pan, 8 by 8 by 2 inches, or a round layer pan, 9 by 1 and 1 half inches. Mix bisquick, sugar, add shortening, egg, 1 fourth cup of milk. Beat vigorously 1 minute. Stir in gradually remaining milk, vanilla. Beat one half minute. Pour into prepared pan. Bake 35 to 40 minutes. Broiled toppings. While cake is warm, spread on any one of these toppings and broil three inches from heat. Honey crisp topping. Cream until fluffy, three tablespoons soft butter, and one third cup honey. Mix in thoroughly one fourth cup shredded coconut, one half cup crushed Wheaties, and one half cup drained crushed pineapple. Broiled orange glaze. Mix two tablespoons soft butter, three tablespoons bisquick, one fourth teaspoon cinnamon, two tablespoons grated orange rind, and one fourth cup brown sugar, packed. Broiled peanut butter topping. Mix two tablespoons soft butter or other shortening, one third cup brown sugar, packed, two tablespoons cream or top milk, one half cup chopped peanuts, and two tablespoons peanut butter. Other toppings. Peach apricot jam topping. Spread one half cup apricot or peach jam or preserves over the hot cake. Streusel topping. Mix with fork one fourth cup bisquick, two teaspoons cinnamon, two tablespoons brown sugar, and one tablespoon soft butter. Sprinkle on cake before baking. Velvet crumb upside down cake. Melt over low heat two tablespoons butter in an eight inch square pan. Sprinkle with one fourth cup brown sugar. Arrange fresh or well drained canned fruit over sugar. Make velvet crumb cake, except pour batter over fruit in pan. Bake 35 to 40 minutes. Invert pan at once on serving plate. Allow pan to remain over cake for a few minutes. Orange nut velvet crumb cake. Make velvet crumb cake, except add one half teaspoon nutmeg, one half teaspoon orange extract. 1 half cup seedless raisins or currants, 1 fourth cup chopped nuts, and 2 tablespoons grated orange rind with the shortening. Bake about 30 minutes. Serve warm with whipped cream. Velvet fudge cake. Make velvet crumb cake, except add 1 third cup cocoa to the bisquick. Pour half of batter into prepared pan. Spread with half of chocolate coconut topping. Pour remaining batter into pan. Bake 35 to 40 minutes. Immediately spread with rest of topping. Serve warm. Chocolate coconut topping. Mix one half cup, one half package, semi-sweet chocolate pieces melted. One third cup water, two cups finely chopped coconut. Velvet crumb spice cake. Make velvet crumb cake, except use three fourths cup brown sugar packed in place of white. Add one half teaspoon cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon each cloves, allspice, and nutmeg with bisquick. Bake about 30 minutes. Serve warm with the topping. Velvet crumb shortcake. Make velvet crumb cake. Cut cake into 6 to 9 pieces while still warm. Spoon sweetened sliced strawberries between split pieces and on top. End of section 8. Section 9 of 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick by Betty Crocker. Yeast Baking. Hurry up yeast rolls. 
one dissolve one package active dry yeast in three quarter cup warm water not hot 105 degrees to 115 degrees mix in two and one half cups bisquick beat vigorously two turn dough onto surface well dusted with bisquick knead until smooth about 20 times three shape into 12 pan rolls place in greased eight inch round layer pan four place pan of rolls on wire rack over a bowl of hot water and cover with towel let rise about one hour heat oven to 400 degrees moderate hot bake 10 to 15 minutes until a rich golden brown brush with butter after baking serve hot make 16. one water temperature for dissolving yeast is right when it is slightly warmer than lukewarm too hot water kills the yeast too cool water retards rising two rolls are ready to bake when dough is puffy and light and slight indentation remains in dough when pressed gently with finger variations in shapes crescent rolls roll dough into 12 inch circle cut into 16 wedges beginning at wide side roll toward point place on greased baking sheet with point underneath clothespin rolls divide dough into 16 to 18 strips roll each on board with palms of hands into 12 inch lengths wrap strips around greased clothespins so edges barely touch knots make strips twist and tie each strip into a knot press ends down on greased baking sheet more yeast bakings pizza makes four ten inch pizzas follow directions for yeast dough through the kneading divide dough into four pieces roll each piece paper thin into a circle about ten inches in diameter place on ungreased baking sheets or in shallow pie pans no rising top with three quarter cup chopped onion one clove garlic chopped two cups tomato sauce one cup chopped salami or cooked italian sausage or two cans anchovies chopped salt and pepper to taste two and one half cups grated mozzarella cheese or two six ounce packages sliced mozzarella cheese cut into thin strips mix onion garlic tomato sauce salami salt and pepper and spread on dough sprinkle grated cheese over all or lay cheese strips on top sprinkle with oregano to desired taste heat oven to 425 degrees hot bake 15 to 20 minutes until crust is brown and filling hot and bubbly serve immediately unbaked pizza may stand while others are baking individual pizzas divide dough into eight pieces and roll each piece into five inch circle spread with filling and bake easy pizzas divide dough in half and roll each part on a baking sheet as thin as desired spread with filling italian breadsticks follow directions for yeast dough divide dough into 16 equal parts roll each piece between hands into pencil like strips eight inches long melt one quarter cup butter spread part of butter in bottom of 13 by nine and a half by two inch oblong pan put strips of dough in pan brush tops with rest of butter sprinkle with caraway seeds poppy seeds celery seeds sesame seeds or garlic salt cover with damp cloth let rise in warm place 85 degrees until light about one hour heat oven to 425 degrees hot bake 15 minutes until light golden brown turn oven off allow breadsticks to remain in oven 15 more minutes to crisp bisquick herb yeast rolls follow directions for yeast dough except add one quarter teaspoon nutmeg one half teaspoon sage and one teaspoon caraway seeds to the bisquick mustard buns for hot dogs follow directions for yeast dough except add two level tablespoons prepared mustard divide dough into eight pieces shaped like a hot dog bun onion buns follow directions for yeast dough except add one half cup finely chopped onion and use two and two-thirds cups bisquick divide dough into ten portions and shape in oblongs or rounds good with wieners and hamburgers 
Hawaiian yeast rolls. Three quarter cup drained crushed pineapple, one half cup brown sugar packed, one quarter cup soft butter, one half cup warm water, not hot, 105 to 115 degrees, one package active dry yeast, one egg, one tablespoon granulated sugar, two and one half cups bisquick, two tablespoons butter, one quarter cup brown sugar packed. Mix pineapple, one half cup brown sugar, and one quarter cup butter. Divide among 12 large greased muffin cups. Prepare dough by dissolving yeast in water. Mix in egg, one tablespoon sugar, and bisquick. Beat vigorously. Turn dough onto surface well dusted with bisquick. Knead until smooth about 20 times. Roll into a rectangle 16 by 9 inches. Spread with rest of ingredients. Roll up tightly beginning at wide side. Seal well by pinching edge of dough into roll. Slice into 12. Place in prepared muffin cups. Place pan of rolls on wire rack over bowl of hot water and cover with towel. Let rise one hour. Heat oven to 400 degrees, moderate hot. Bake 15 minutes, invert pan, serve. Caramel buns. One quarter cup soft butter, one third cup brown sugar packed, one teaspoon light corn syrup, one third cup pecans or walnuts, three quarter cup warm water, not hot, 105 to 115 degrees, one package active dry yeast, two and one half cups bisquick, two tablespoons soft butter, one quarter cup brown sugar, packed, one teaspoon cinnamon. Melt butter, add brown sugar and corn syrup. Bring syrup mixture to a rolling boil. Spread an eight inch round layer pan, add pecans. Dissolve yeast in warm water. Mix in bisquick and beat vigorously. Turn dough onto surface well dusted with bisquick. Knead until smooth about 20 times. Roll out into rectangle, 16 by 9 inches. Spread with butter, sugar, and cinnamon. Roll up tightly beginning at wide side. Seal well by pinching edge of dough into roll. Slice into 10 slices. Place in pan. Place pan of rolls on wire rack over bowl of hot water and cover with towel. Let rise one hour. Heat oven to 400 degrees, moderate hot. Bake 20 to 25 minutes. Invert pan and serve rolls warm. Orange rolls. Follow recipe for Hawaiian yeast rolls. Except substitute one half cup orange juice, one half cup sugar, and two tablespoons grated orange rind for the first two ingredients. Mix the orange juice, one half cup sugar, orange rind, and one quarter cup butter in saucepan. Cook two minutes over low heat. Divide among 12 muffin cups. End of section nine. Section 10 of 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick by Betty Crocker. All Time Favorites. More Bisquick Favorites. Berry Chiffon Short Pie. One quarter cup sugar, one envelope unflavored gelatin, one tablespoon. Ten ounce frozen package raspberries or strawberries thawed. Three egg whites, one quarter teaspoon cream of tartar, one third cup sugar, one half cup whipping cream whipped. Blend in saucepan, sugar, gelatin, raspberries. Bring to full rolling boil, stirring constantly. Cool pan in cold water until mixture mounds slightly when dropped from a spoon. Add cream of tartar to egg whites, beat until frothy. Gradually beat in sugar and beat until meringue holds stiff peaks. Fold berry mixture into meringue, carefully fold in whipped cream. Pile into cooled, baked short pie shell. Chill several hours until set. Short pie shell. One cup bisquick, one quarter cup soft butter, one half stick, three tablespoons boiling water. Heat oven to 450 degrees, hot. Put bisquick and butter in 9-inch pie pan. Add boiling water and stir vigorously with fork until dough forms a ball 
and cleans the pan dough will be puffy and soft with fingers and heel of hand pat dough evenly into pie pan bringing up dough to edge of pan this may seem skimpy but will not be when baked flute edges bake eight to ten minutes fill with ice cream or other fillings fruit cobbler heat oven to four hundred degrees moderate hot heat two and one half cups number two can canned fruit or berries and juice or three cups fresh fruit and three quarter cup water sweeten to taste blend in one tablespoon cornstarch dissolved in two tablespoons cold water bring to a boil boil one minute pour into two quart baking dish dot with butter sprinkle with cinnamon drop one half fruit shortcake dough by spoonfuls over top bake about twenty minutes serve hot with cream six to eight servings short pie rounds prepare short pie dough except divide dough into six parts flatten each part into three or four inch rounds on baking sheet flute edges bake about eight minutes serve on top of your favorite cooked fruit filling six servings ranch pudding one cup brown sugar packed two and one half cups water two tablespoons butter one cup brown sugar packed one half cup milk one and one quarter cups bisquick one cup raisins or chopped dates one half to one cup chopped nuts one teaspoon vanilla heat oven to 350 degrees moderate mix one cup brown sugar water and butter in saucepan boil five minutes pour into eight inch square pan mix rest of ingredients in bowl spoon batter on top of sugar mixture it will sink into the liquid and will spread out as it bakes bake 45 minutes serve warm with plain or whipped cream nine servings hot seafood appetizers heat oven to 450 degrees hot make rolled biscuit dough roll dough one quarter inch thick cut into biscuits one inch in diameter place on baking sheet bake six to eight minutes immediately split each baked biscuit spread with seafood mixture sprinkle with grated sharp cheese if desired replace tops return to oven to heat through serve piping hot makes about sixty tiny biscuits filling variations shrimp spread mix one half cup flaked cooked shrimp five ounce can one tablespoon chopped pimento one tablespoon lemon juice three tablespoons mayonnaise and salt and pepper to taste crab meat spread use crab meat in place of shrimp in the above spread pronto puppies one egg one half cup milk one cup bisquick two tablespoons yellow cornmeal one quarter teaspoon paprika one half teaspoon dry mustard one eighth teaspoon cayenne one pound miniature or large frankfurters heat deep fat to 375 degrees blend egg and milk stir in dry ingredients dip frankfurters in batter fry until brown two to three minutes on each side serve miniature franks on cocktail picks slice large franks to reheat place in 400 degree oven about five minutes doughnuts or fried balls two cups bisquick one quarter cup sugar one third cup milk one teaspoon vanilla one egg one quarter teaspoon each cinnamon and nutmeg if desired heat fat to 375 degrees mix ingredients until well blended turn onto lightly floured surface and knead about 10 times roll out 3 8 inch thick cut with floured doughnut cutter fry in hot fat until golden brown about one minute to a side take from fat and drain on absorbent paper makes about 12 doughnuts fritters mix two cups bisquick two-thirds cup milk one egg until well blended batter will be lumpy stir in two cups fruit or cooked vegetables drain drop by small teaspoonfuls into deep hot fat 360 to 375 degrees turn and fry until golden brown on both sides drain on absorbent paper serve hot with syrup or confectioner's sugar makes two dozen fried chicken meats fish for the crispiest coating you ever tasted roll fresh fish seafood chicken or meat generously in bisquick 
Fry in a small amount of fat until golden brown on both sides. Turn only once. Use leftover dredgings for making gravy. End of section 10. End of 133 Quicker Ways to Homemade with Bisquick by Betty Crocker.